Hi, I'm going to go over how to make a reusable sanitary pad from the Pachamama project. This is the flying saucer variation that they do. Um, they also have an airplane version that I made a lot of last year, uh, but they prefer these ones now. Okay, so we want to have a go at cutting out these pieces. This large piece, we want to cut one fabric, preferably cotton, and one fleece. And then for this smaller piece, we want to cut one fleece and one towel. Uh, so let's cut these pieces. Okay, so we want to make sure we're using a new anti-pill fleece. Um, and the towel can be a used towel as long as it's still absorbent. And then our cotton can be from anything. Just make sure it isn't stained or has any issues. Uh, you could use pretty bedding, um, any fabric you have, even t-shirts as long as they aren't uh, stretch. So what we're going to do first is we're going to sew these two pieces together. Um, we will do stitching around the edges um, and make sure to reinforce all stitches with a back stitch at the start and at the end. I definitely recommend pinning or clipping your fabric um, as these are two types of material as fleece has more of a stretch to it um, and this will help keep it in place. So I've sewn it around the edges now. Um, you'll find the towel gets literally everywhere. Uh, I highly recommend using a sticky roller um, uh, to um, try and pick up the bits uh, or whatever you prefer to use to get rid of little bits everywhere. Um, also, if you have any excess towel edges, uh, we can trim these down now um, just to make sure it's nice and tidy uh, for when we sew it onto the bigger piece of fleece. There we go. So I've trimmed the overhanging bits. Uh, what you find though, you get loads of little piles like this. Um, next up though, we're going to attach this uh, bit to the larger piece of fleece. Okay, so next we need to sew this to the back of the fleece and we want to have the towel facing the fleece. What I've done to help me with alignment is to cut holes in my template to make sure I get them in the right place um, and see how well it lines up. Uh, and, you know, just try to avoid having uh, a wonky absorbent part in the middle of the pad uh, because that really won't help. Just making sure that I'm fully happy with the placement. Um, or you could cut out two copies of the template and cut out the whole fleece section from the middle um, and do it that way as well. So then what we're going to do, that needs to move slightly to the side. Uh, I'm going to sew all the way around this. Uh, make sure to pin it in place to keep it where you need it. Um, and make sure to backstitch as always. There we go. And it should look like this now that you've sewn it. I went with white to try and be able to show my stitching, although it's kind of hard to show still. Um, and then if I turn it around on the other side, you'll see the stitching. Of course, try and uh, pick threads that match. Um, it looks like I went slightly off on this side. Um, but so what we're going to do next is we're now going to pin uh, our fabric to this and we want to pin it right sides together so of course you can see this is the right side of my two cans and this is the wrong side and this is the right side so we're going to pin these together um so if we do that okay so i've now pinned this uh we want to keep a uh a gap for being able to turn around so whatever that helps for you for me i can sometimes do smaller uh, but we also want to make sure it's not on the curves either so this is my marker for um, leaving a gap so then we can turn it around um, also pay attention to the fact that this is the stitching line which is a one centimeter seam allowance uh, so you can either draw this onto your fleece onto your fabric um, or for me i know one centimeter on my foot is if i have my needle if i have my needle in the left position uh, the edge of here is one centimeter for me. Um, so go all the way around the edge, make sure to backstitch at the sides as well, um, and then we'll go to the next bit. There we go, so I've stitched around and left my edge. Uh, now what they recommend doing is using pinking shears if you have them, and trim down the seam allowances, uh, or if you don't have pinking shears, uh, trim down the seam allowances, and you can do small snips to help on curves to ensure that they can come out nicely. There we go, so I trim them down. I always make sure to leave um, the original seam when I had to turn things over, so I've just got more to fold in uh, to make it um, 
easier to sew. So now we want to turn it out. I'm going to use probably a chopstick to help me out with this, um, but use whatever you like to turn things out with. Next we want to give it a little iron, so you can see I've pushed it all out. Uh, the iron can just help make sure that everything lies nice and flat, and then it also allows you to uh, turn in a little opening, iron that in place, also iron from the cotton side, don't have your iron too hot, um, and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so I've given it a brief iron um, and I've pinned together this opening. Now what we want to do is top stitch around um, three to five centimeters, centimeters, three to five millimeters from the edge, um, and that will just hold the cotton in place uh, and the fleece and stop them from like moving around. Okay, so I've now top stitched around um, and made sure the back stitch uh, to make sure it's nice and enclosed. And so now um, we can't have too much movement going on with the pad. Uh, so next up it's cam snaps. So for this we'll need a cam snap tool, um, an awl, pokey thing, um, and your cam snaps. And you will need, uh, what, two caps and a male and a female, which are these ones. So what we want is these. So we want two, uh, two caps that go on the outside. And then we have these two different types. So you can see one has a hole poking out and one is poking in. Okay, so I'm once again using this guide um, as a means to figure this out, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it around, uh, match up the side and poke it through um, both sides. Oh, and it wants to be, what is it, between one and one and a half centimeters in, but I'd say uh, use this guide, which I'll have a link to below. Okay, so now you want to, I've just kind of popped these in place where they are now. And you also, before you commit, you want to make sure you've kind of set them up right. So you can pull one down and then the other will be able to go onto it. And then that'd be the bit in the underwear. So uh, once you've got them in place and you're happy with them, you've got to use this. So what you want to do is you want to line up to get the, the end, so the, the flat end, which has a slight curve, sat in this deposit. And then the other bit is on this side and you want to squeeze. There we go. And once they're in place, uh, you will want to test your poppers to make sure they actually pop in and out. And are stable and won't come apart. Because you want to make sure they won't be able to just pull out of the fabric. Uh, so popping them on and off again a few times is a good practice to check. Um, and there we go. So that's a finished pad um, so we can see here there's the it's kind of hard to see because I've got black uh, we've got the absorbent part which has the towel and an extra piece of fleece um, and then some cute little toucans um, yeah so that's all that uh, I hope you have a go at making them um, and I'll have all the links to everything uh, in the description below thank you